Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we've got another store review. Today the store I'm going to be showing you is a one product store and it made over half a million dollars drop shipping just one product. As always, I'm going to show you the product. I've found the product on AliExpress as well, which has super fast shipping. So you can actually sell this product yourself. You can also see exactly how much profit there was to be made on each sale. I'm going to be showing you the Facebook ads they were running. And whilst their store is password protected at the moment, I found some screenshots of it. So we'll be able to see exactly how they had their store set up. I actually really enjoy doing these videos myself because there's always something to be learned from somebody who has sold a product successfully. So if you guys enjoy these videos as well, make sure you drop a like. And if you wanna see more of my content, make sure you drop a sub as well. Apart from that, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. Um, and let's jump straight into it. So the store at hand is the minimallamp.com. Like I mentioned in the intro, they sold one particular product. Let's have a quick look at their sales information. So the total revenue, 667,000 US dollars, which is pretty good, especially considering this store started in June, 2020. So it's not even one year old at this point. Total traffic, over half a million visits. As you can see from Shopify themselves, revenue data comes directly from them. So it can be edited by the seller, it's all legit. Um, just in case you've never seen this website before, it's called the X Exchange Marketplace, it's basically where people go to sell their Shopify stores. So you can see what the store looks like, you can see how much money they've made, you can see the products and all that sort of good stuff. Let's give you some background information then into this business so we can see exactly how achievable this is. Um, they have two different people working for them on Upwork to do things like order fulfillment and customer service. The owner at this point personally runs the active advertising campaigns on Facebook and Instagram. So this is purely generated from Facebook and Instagram ads, which is what the majority of people who watch my videos do so super achievable founded almost a year ago which i've touched on and time to run this business approximately 15 hours per week so not bad considering the amount of money they were able to turn over what i always like to look at also is the expenses because again this gives you insight into how achievable the business is um, and kind of like what's involved in running the business um, of this particular size. So the Shopify plan is obviously an advanced one. I'm assuming this is to kind of cut down on the fees for processing payments. Um, employees, $750 a month. Domain, Shopify apps, $350 a month. And then their paid marketing, which is about 30K per month. And as it says there, it's not necessarily. Um, all depends on obviously how much you want to spend. So the sale includes all the logos, personal support, domain, product photos, social media. They have 15,000 followers if we take a look at their Facebook page. Something interesting, always worth looking at as well, is the sort of posts they put out and then the reactions they get to them. So straight away, I can see they have a custom domain email address, which is something I recommend everybody do. They also have a phone number and they also have a physical address, if I'm not mistaken, which is this here. So instantly somebody who comes onto this page can see that this is indeed a legitimate business. If we look at their photos, we can see a like and a love. On poor dropshipping stores, what you'll sometimes tend to see is the angry emoji. And this will be from customers who haven't received their product yet. But when I scrolled through this earlier, all I could see was really positive comments. How legit they are, I don't know, but still to kind of like a normal person who sees this particular page and comes onto it and sees nothing but positivity and good reactions, then again, it instantly just kind of legitimizes their business. If we take a look at their Instagram page too, um, we can see they have quite a nice setup. Um, if I had to guess, they didn't take these images themselves. So they've probably just got these off AliExpress or ask their supplier to take some for them. Um, so super easy to set up, super cheap to set up, super quick to set up. They've got a pretty decent logo, 17 posts, 13,000 followers. Looking at the engagement on these posts, they probably paid for those, but it doesn't matter. We can see the results they've produced, which is reflected in how proper and professional their whole business looks um, from the outside. So next up, let's have a look at their actual Shopify store themselves. Let's open these up. We can see, again, if I'm not mistaken, this could be the actual debut theme. They have all the fundamentals kind of done correctly. We can see they were selling this product for 130 euros, which tells us they were obviously focusing on a European market. This is some sales snapshots, half a percent conversion rate, which is quite low. I would guess at the price of this particular product, they're probably spending quite a lot on retargeting ads. The average order value is 180 US dollars, which is obviously very good. 
returning customer rate of over 5%, which is also pretty decent as well. So I'd be interested actually to find out why customers are coming back, whether they're buying another lamp, the same product, or potentially there's an upsell in which they're offering. Going through the images then, we can see they've got like a custom font, which kind of reflects the minimalistic and modernistic style of the store and of the product. They have a super easy product page set up with loads of different images of the of the product itself, a nice kind of cover photo on their home screen. That being said, then let's jump onto AliExpress. So this, if I'm not mistaken, is the exact same product. We'll take a quick look at the video itself so we can see exactly how it works. We can buy this for 60 pounds. As I mentioned in the intro, you can get super fast delivery on this as well. So free shipping to the UK in four to 10 days. I probably would guess this isn't the same supplier they're using, but I wouldn't actually be surprised. In fact, looking at the kind of reviews, they obviously are offering pretty decent shipping. And this supplier is one of maybe two or three that I found that was able to offer this product with this kind of fast shipping. If we do the math on this, then the lamp is gonna cost us 60 pounds. We could probably negotiate this down, especially once we established a relationship, probably to about 50 pounds. We're selling it, or these guys were selling it, sorry. Um, for, let me see, was it 113 euros, 130 euros, which equates to, if I'm not mistaken, about 110 pounds. So let's say a purchase price, a delivered price, sorry, 50 pounds, a sale price of 100 pounds. That's a nice high healthy profit margin of 50 pounds. Even if you have to take into account VAT on this, then you can still make a pretty decent profit margin. What I also like about this product too, is if you want to replicate this business is you obviously have a product which is proven to sell on this one, but then there's lots of different upsell opportunities like this particular product here, which looks cool. If I'm not mistaken, it's the same supplier or very similar, and it's just lots of different things in which you can kind of package together to offer for your customers as an upsell offer or in your email marketing or retargeting as to get them to come back and buy a similar but different product. Moving on to the third piece of the puzzle then, we have the ads they were running. Now I could actually only find two results. Um, but let's take a look at both of these. I'm going to put this one back to the beginning. I've already watched this. Let's see if I can make it a bit bigger for you guys. I don't think this one actually has any sound, which is actually quite surprising. Um, their description at the top, creative, stylish, minimal, say 50% today. It's a super sharp, to the point, no need to have tons and tons of different bullet points. Simply, the product speaks for itself in this instance is what I was trying to say. So a real basic ad, again, I'm pretty sure they didn't film this content themselves. They either asked their supplier for it, or they may have even been able to find that already on AliExpress or even CJ Dropshipping. Let's have a quick look at this one then, because I do believe this one has sound. So it's a bit more capturing. In this one, they actually have the link to the product, so a clear call to action there for them, a nice little kind of percentage tag. I definitely think as well, user-generated content for this would be awesome. Find a couple of small time influencers on Instagram and YouTube, reach out to them, especially people, especially streamers. So this is a perfect, perfect product for people who create content like myself. I could put one in that back corner and it would look pretty nice. In fact, I might just do that. But find people like gamers, streamers, Twitch streamers, reach out to them if they're small time and say, hey, we want to send you this really cool lamp if you record a video of yourself kind of unpacking it and setting it up that we can use as Facebook ads or we can post on our Facebook page, I think you'd have no problem whatsoever finding people who would happily accept a product like this. Yes, it might cost you a couple hundred quid ordering three or four units in to send out to users, but trust me, the return on investment when using user-generated content far outweighs the actual cost of it. And with that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. We've covered all three fundamentals that go into a success or Shopify store, we've found the products, we've found the Facebook ads, and we've found the actual store itself. Let me know what you think to this store. Is this gonna be a product that you potentially look at yourselves? I'll be interested to hear that. Um, if you enjoyed the video, um, please do make sure you drop a like, and if you wanna see more of my videos, make sure you drop me a sub as well. Um, one final thing though before you go, um, if you are looking for a program that comes with my full support and guidance as well as all the content you could possibly need, make sure you check out my Ecom Academy. It comes with a free callback service too, so if you want to hop on the phone with myself, um, go through any kind of questions, hesitations you have about joining just to see if it's the right fit for you, then we can of course do that, no problem whatsoever. Thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something new, and I'll see you in the next one.